First of all, the picture in the thumbnail has zero to do with this video. I just thought it was fire, so I used it. And secondly, camping, I ain't ever doing that again. What's good guys, Ash Bash, back again with another episode of Ash Bash or Waffles On. Every single Monday, hitting you with a new YouTube video about God knows what. Most likely it's gonna be a sneaker topic, but who knows one day, it might not be. But hit that bell icon, subscribe if you haven't. Let's get talking. So today's subject is about camping for sneakers. And I've got two stories to tell. One is a good one. And the second one is a nightmare, which just annoys me still to this day. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before on my channel. I know I've done a write up of it on like Facebook groups and stuff about how pissed off I was, but let's get to it. Let's start with probably the positive one. Keep me in a good mood. So while I've been collecting sneakers technically for a long, long, long time, there was a long period where I didn't even know like how often sneakers came out about all these websites with the drop dates and all that sort of stuff. So after getting into it and sort of focusing on Jordan at the first place, I eventually got into different brands with Asics and Saucony and whatnot. So came a release for Saucony, which was the Life on Mars, I think they're called. It was a collaboration between Saucony and Premier Skate. As I said, I wouldn't be, hadn't been in any Facebook groups. I didn't really search on eBay. So I didn't know that Saucony's could even like be resold for a big deal. I didn't know they were that popular. So I've turned up for my first camp. I'm calling it a camp. It's really not a camp. So I've probably turned up there at about seven o'clock, 7.30, something like that. And this is at Foot Patrol near Upford Circus. So I've turned up there. There's about at least 20 people ahead of me. So I'm thinking, that's not too bad. I've got zero idea how much stock they have. I don't know really how it works. But I'm standing behind these two guys, so I'm just like chilling. Okay, just gonna wait it out. I don't know if it was like nine o'clock or 9.30 when it opened. But I'm just there sitting, chilling, chatting to the guys here and there. It's pretty interesting finding out about other people that are into sneakers and all that. I'm like, oh, so I guess this is kind of a big thing. It wasn't just me who went on the website and found out that they were releasing it. So, I'm now chilling in the queue. Now people are hearing rumors about they're releasing at Offspring in Selfridges, which is like kind of far, about 10 minutes or 15 minutes up the road. So a couple of people that had gone there together, one of them has dashed off, gone down there, trying to see if they can get a pair. They come back and I'm like, oh gosh, he's actually got a pair ready. So he's secured his pair. The dude standing in front of me has secured his pair. His mate is still waiting because he didn't happen to have his size as well and he probably wasn't able to buy two pairs. So I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. Eventually a couple more people come in the queue behind me. I'm thinking, don't know about you, but there's already 20 people. I don't know how many pairs there's gonna be. You guys might be screwed. Then some old lady came in. I'm calling her old. She's probably in her 50s or something like that. Gray hair and all that. She comes to the queue and she's now sitting here. The dude at the front has got a list. Who knows how official this list is? I don't know. As I said, I don't know how this whole thing works. So he's got a list and he's went up to her and said, oh, are you after a pair of the Saucony's? And she's like, yeah, I'm just trying to get a pair for my son. I'm like in town and he said, if you're down, can you try and pick him up? And he's like, oh, okay, well, just so you know, there's like a list that we've got at the moment of people that are in the queue. There's a limited sneaker, so there might not be enough pairs. She's like, why, why can't I just buy a pair of sneakers? What's going on? What, what, what's, the, what's going on? Why, what's their list? Who, who are you? Are you in charge? Like she didn't know what was going on. She was about as confused as I was. But eventually she sort of figured out, okay, cool, this ain't happening for me. So the dude at the front of the line, number one, comes around, speaks to her and says, what are you after? Oh, I'm after this pair in size nine. And he goes, there's not that many pairs. You're probably not gonna get one. You're kind of far back in this list now. You're probably like 30th or so. So it's not looking good, but I'm first. What size do you want? Uh, I want an eight and a half. Well, I'm first, I can get an eight and a half. It's gonna cost like 200 though or whatever. And she's like, what? Goes to the cash point, pays him. That's the first time I ever seen that in person, selling it while in the queue. I was like, you piss take this resale thing. Absolutely bonkers, but is what it is. But I'm still waiting. Eventually the truck pulls up. 
the guys get out and people are saying, how many, how many you got, how many you got? They're like, oh, I'm not sure, 20, 25, I'm not sure. So I'm just sitting in the queue. I kind of got headphones on like half, I don't want to really hear what size people have gone from. Kind of look at people's feet thinking, is anyone here UK 10? I don't know, it's gonna piss me off if I don't get my size. So queuing, queuing, queuing. Now there's two people ahead of me and people are still going in, it's still flowing and I'm not seeing anyone saying like, oh, we're coming to the end. So I'm thinking, okay, looks like I might get a pair, might not get my size. I'm thinking, should I even buy a size if it's not my size? Chatting to the guy in front of me, whatever. So he goes into the store. I'm looking through the window and he looks back and he's like, only got a size 11 left. And I'm like, ah, oh, flipping hell. He's getting the last size. But because he was safe and because I was actually chatting to the dude and all that, he's like, what size are you? I'm like, I'm like a size 10, 10 and a half. And he's like, do you want to take these? So I was like, y yeah, of course. I didn't even try them on, nothing. I was like, boom, straight in there. Took the pair and I was like, yes. There was two different colorways that came out. I can actually show you one of them. I don't know where, don't know where the other box is, but this is one of the pairs if you've not seen them. Boom these fire ass kicks. I'm not sure if it was this colorway because I've got two colorways now. I'm not sure if it was this colorway or the other colorway. But I get the size 11 and I'm thinking, I'm not a size 11. Why did I even buy it? But I guess I can try and swap it with someone maybe, etc., etc. So now, leave foot patrol, walking down the road. Happy, but kind of like, mm, not that happy. And then some dude comes up to me, he's like, oh, what did you get? I got said I got a size 11, kind of needed like a 10, 10 and a half. Then there's like, oh, there's like a pop-up shop in, where is it? In Neil Street, which is near Covent Garden. I think there's a Saucony pop-up shop. I think they might have them in there. I'm like, okay. So I'm walking, I'm thinking, I want to go home. But I was like, it's not that far. Let me go down there. So I get on my Google Maps, get down there. Lo and behold, there is a Saucony shop. Never seen it in my life. Okay. Go into the shop on the shelf, both colorways, 10 and a half left. Technically half a size too big, but way better than the 11. So I ended up getting the other colorway in the um, 10 and a half, so I was sorted. If this was like now, I would have bought both colorways, but money wasn't the same as it is now back then, so I only got one pair, but I was like, yes, what are the chances? I've tried to go and get one pair and I've ended up with two pairs but technically one size is too big. I think I ended up selling the other colorway. Tried to message a couple of people on eBay saying like, oh, do you wanna trade it or whatever? Turned out being a long thing. Sold those pairs. Eventually, like a year or so later, managed to get the other colorway for pretty much retail. So that was a win-win. And that was a good camping story. So now to the nightmare story. I'll try and rush through this one if I can not to make it too long and not to bring back too many bad memories. But yeah, so this is about a year later. I think the Sockenies came out 2014. These were 2015, so I was a bit more seasoned on how things happened. I've done one more camp since then, which was for another pair of Sockeny at Offspring, Calm as you like. There's about five people ahead of me. Managed to get my size in the Sockeny times and eat us and sand fire pair. They're probably in these boxes somewhere, but I can't be asked to find them for a picture of those. But yeah, so this was 2015 and it was for Ronnie Fire times A6, the homage pack, which is basically like a what the A6 gel light freeze. Super fire kick. Always going to be pissed that I missed out on them. I need them in my life. So I went to sneakers and stuff in Shoreditch to cop these. I think I worked like a late shift or something like that with my work. Woke up super duper early, like the first train. Again, I'm not doing no super duper long camp overnight and all that. It just doesn't work for my lifestyle, how I work and all that. It's not happening. But I went as early as I could possibly go. I get there and there's literally like two, maybe three people ahead of me. So I'm thinking, this is brilliant. I did see on the door there was kind of like a list or something like that, I believe. Had a couple names in it, so I was like, okay, maybe they had people come in the day before and put them on the list. Now it's free for all, first come, first serve. Cool. So I'm sitting there chatting to these two people. They got deck chairs out, they know what they're doing. So I'm just chilling there and I'm like, this is gonna be good. 
I'm gonna get my pair. I'm gassed, I don't care that the price is crazy high, but I'm gonna get my pair. A couple more people came, queued behind me, chatting to them, super safe people. Then here and there, some dudes would pop out and they'd be like, oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. You guys came for the sneakers? Yeah, 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 I'm just um, in my car. I'm like, in your car? What's that got to do with anything? Like they're parked in the car around the corner in the warmth while I'm queuing up. Uh, don't like the sound of that, but is what it is. But I figured there's so many other people behind me, they're not all gonna have it from this one dude that's saying he's in the queue when he's not been in the queue this whole time, but whatever. Comes closer to the opening of the store. All of us that are in this queue, like behind me, say the entrance is to the left. Everyone is sort of queuing to the right. That's been there from the time I've been there. We're all chatting, everyone's pretty safe and all that. Then the owner of the sneakers and stuff comes in. He's like, oh yeah, you guys need to queue up like on this side. So now suddenly, out of nowhere, all these dudes have come out that supposedly had been in their car all this time. Now they're queuing up to the left of the store where you're supposed to sort of queue up. So now I'm like, well, no. <laughs> That's not happening. You can't suddenly just come out of nowhere and be ahead of me, but everyone's just pushing, pushing, pushing. The owner's like, I'm gonna close this off. I'm not gonna sell to no one if this doesn't, queue, if this doesn't clear up. So now people are trying to get into the queue. Now I'm God knows where in the queue. Nothing I can do, there's just bare big people. I'm not a small guy myself, but when there's a group of people that all know each other, and this guy's dragging his girlfriend in to get another pair and all that, it was just like, it's not happening. So luckily, which wasn't lucky for me, but I was glad that at least the guy that was queuing up from when I met him at night, he actually managed to get his pair, and I think the girl got her pair who was behind me as well. But nobody else that was behind me got a pair. All these random ass dudes managed to get a pair. It was just, the worst thing, like queuing up for all that time to take an L. No, I might take taking a legit L if I came late and I was just last in the queue. But literally all these boys were in front, got them first. I was just like, <sighs> got to the front basically. I was about two or three away from the front and they were like, yeah. So out of those, yeah. Do you want to just come in the shop? I was like, no. It kind of put me off sneakers and stuff. Like, I, <sighs> I don't want to say I hate the shop, but I do hate the website, it's terrible. And I didn't like how they treated that whole thing. Like the guy came to the store, he could see how the queue was, but he just wanted no parts of it. Is what it is, nightmare, never gonna get the pair. There's loads of fakes out there, so I'm just screwed on ever getting that. But yeah, that is a major waffle on, on my two camping stories. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ash Bash Sneakers, and Twitter, Perfection7. As I said, videos every single Monday and review videos whenever I pick something up, nothing this week, so you might get another randomish video. Anywho, I'm out, video. <laughs>